Surprise! I had, um, well, I have been away from my craft room for a little bit and I thought that I needed to get some crafting on. And I also have to make some stuff for a thing. So figured I would turn on the camera and have a surprise come craft with me session for you guys. So it's been absolutely zero warning. I'm sorry about that. I know that um, a lot of you guys like to have a little bit of pre-warning, but sometimes I don't even know. So one thing I will mention right now is that we have a bit of a new setup. Another reason why we wanted to kind of do a surprise session before Friday. Craig has been tinkering, well he's been, <laughs> he has been researching shall I say. Researching and researching and we got a new thing, a new device to hook up to the old Cameroonie. And uh, we tried to use it one day and it, and it didn't work. It, um, we had a technical issue, but we think we've got it going now. So I see we've got a few people here. So I just wanted to double check that we're okay for audio. As I always, always ask. Ashley's here. Hi, Ashley. Antonia, hi. Tanya, hiya. Okay. No, it's fine. I don't need that one. It's fine. Getting crafty. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Ashley says, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I We've had a bit of a, a spat of um, illnesses and mega busy. And I think we're just coming out the other side of it. We had some time in uh, Ireland visiting my family. And um, I'm back to work full swing after a nice little break. Christine's here as well. Hey, Christine. So the reason that I wanted to get some stuff done today is that we have got um, another Heffy Doodle show on Create and Craft TV coming up soon. And it focuses on the new Heffy Doodle release. So we're going to be doing some package deals with Excellent new stamps and dies. Hello, squeak heart stamps and dies. We've got lucky friends stamps and dies. Honey bunny boo stamps and dies. What you saying stamps and dies. And then the lucky clover, no, not lucky clover, clover frames dies. And the strips of ease and stitched strips of ease dies. So what I need to do is send them loads of samples. <laughs> hey Claudette, hope you're well. Okay, okay. So Craig has said that there's a 30 minute timer for my camera to time out. So I'm going to um, try and remember at what time is it now? 20 past, okay, so just 22, okay. So let me show you what we've got so far that I'm going to bring with you for samples, but I obviously need to buy, make some more as well. So I'm going to be making some of them tonight. So for the Honey Bunny Boo, we've got um, this little cutie. We've got Tooth and Bunny Awesome with the um, strips of ease and the little bunny as well. And that was made by Heather Hoffman, super cute. And then we have this Happy Easter, which is, I love this sort of pattern paper effect that Crystal made when she put together this card. Plus I love gray, gray, I, I love color, but there's something about gray that I just love, love, love. Then we've got this one. So I made this on a recent um, stream. I wonder if I can do this. Aha, this is the pleasure of using my DSLR for a camera. So um, I used the stitched strips of ease to create a woven background. I was trying to channel the basket that I have up here. I wanted to create that kind of effect. So I used um, the stitched strips of ease to uh, create that woven background. That was on my last stream. So if you want to see that being made, you can go back and watch it. 
Then I have my shaker card, my Hoppy Easter shaker card. This was part of a blog hop, which I think is still going. So if you're interested, you can go and have a look. Um, it was the Save the Crafty YouTuber blog hop. And then this is another um, actually quick card that I put together last week. And I have some embossing on the background just to give a bit of texture. Pop that in there. So these are my Honey Bunny Boos. So I think I've actually got enough Honey Bunny Boos. Um, but that's those ones. <laughs> Alisa says that she is happy that she got to um, get make my stream today. Yay! Hi, Crafting with Aunt Petunia. Hiya. And um, we've got, um, oh, thank you so much for everyone, all my new subbies, for joining, joining me. Okay, so these are the, let me get it up here so you can see. These have been like way popular. And the funny thing is, right, I'm Irish. So I wanted to make a sort of Irishy one. And this has been way more popular in America. <laughs> I suppose that's to be expected because of, um, I think you guys, like in Ireland, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day and in some parts of Scotland, it's a big deal in the city. But apart from that, um, it's, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just like another day. Um, we do get a bank holiday in Ireland, but not here in England, unfortunately. But in the US, they go wild for it. So here's a card that I made using the Lucky Friends stamps and dies and the die cuts along the internal line here so you can tuck the elements inside the pot and makes it lots of fun also it cuts around the little guy's hands so this is using my lucky friends and this is the strips of ease this one i think it is so you can get perfectly straight little strip sentiment strips every single time then we've got this one, which is an upcoming project. I'll not show that too much because there's a video coming of that one soon. And then another little shaker, St. Patrick's Day. This is another, I think it was Heather that made this one as well. The cute little guy with some embossing in the background. Crystal made this one with a um, colored, like a shimmery rainbow. I couldn't think of the word there. And then I've got this, which sh showcases the little stitch clover here it gives a lovely little texture see and then also in the clover frames we have this like peekaboo die and um you can lift it up like this lucky because you love me yay in the usa they just liking like drinking the green green beer thing i don't think we've ever had green beer over here everyone just has the like guinness <laughs> that's weird okay so I think I've got enough leprechauns. I might need to use some more of the, the clover dye. So that's bunnies and leprechauns were good, I think. Over here then we've got, next up is Hello Squeak Heart, which is inspired by the late member of our family, Fiskers, the fat-tailed gerbil. Hey Beverly in Oklahoma. And Suzanne from Wyoming, is that? That's so cool. Okay, so we've got a couple of um, cards from Hello Squeak Heart. So we've got this one here, a little shaky shaky, the little cutie on it. And I've added a, you can probably not see it very well. Let's zoom in. Can you see there's like a yellow shake me on there? Um, that's from the Heffy Doodle Interactive with Your stamp set. And it's perfect for little interactive cards. So we've got that one. We've got a nice plain and simple with a cute little house. And I love the um, bossy accents on the uh, heart and on the ear as well. This was one from Crystal. Then I, one of the design team made this for Creativation and I don't know who it was. I want to say Callie, but it might not, I mean Cassie, but it might not have been, but I love it. So it's got the cute little mouse and it's used the hay um, heavy cuts. And then another Heather, Ho Heather Hoffman one, which showcases the stitched strips of ease as well as this guy. So let's have a look. We've got four mice. So we might need to make another mousy mousy. So another mouse. Oh yeah, we've also got this one for the leprechaun. So yeah, we've definitely got enough leprechauns. Might need another mouse. Let's put him there so I remember. 
and then for the excellent news this one here which is like a baby congrats um, set I've already got three so I'm definitely going to need to use some of these to make a card tonight so I'm thinking I might showcase see this showcases the um, what do you call it the nest and it has an internal cut line so you can tuck things in there maybe I'll use some more of the the sentiments and showcase the strips of ease along with that or something we'll see okay so we definitely need a chicky chick chick because those are the only ones i have and uh, this is another one that showcases the strips of ease and this one stitch strips of ease and also the good luck which comes uh, in the clover frames i still need to showcase this little guy so I might do that tonight and I like, want to use this frame because I've not actually used it yet. And then we have another simple card but really pretty which showcases the stitch strips of A. So maybe some more strips. I'm going to do some strips tonight. And then the other set which we have is the Watch You Sayin' stamp set and dies. And I've only got two, so I'm definitely going to need to use these tonight as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll showcase how you can use the, um, the outline on its own and then the, the background on its own, or you can layer them together. I think. I think, I think, I think. Okay, let's move some of these things out of the way. And I'm just going to get cracking. I'm going to start with my little chickies. Now, what did I do with these? Here we go. Hi, Debbie. What has everyone been up to then? Last week was Valentine's Day. Did you all have lots of fun? Oh, come on, little chick. If you are familiar with me and watch my channel and stuff, then you might know that we have a little tradition on Valentine's Day, which is a bit different from other people's traditions, I think. <laughs> well, I... It's, it's kind of a funny story. Back back in the day when Craig and I were going out, it was our first year going out together. Um, we kind of were a bit skeptical and we're like, yeah, we're not going to do Valentine's Day. It's a bit, um, you know, it, it's just hyped up, whatever. And um, yeah, so we're like, yeah, we're, we're not really wanting to celebrate Valentine's Day. I don't really think that you know your expression of love shouldn't be limited to one day and i think a lot of our friends as well or acquaintances or like people we hung out with or whatever it was always about what you could get um and certainly i was at work and some of the girls they were like oh i got sh i got um this necklace from my boyfriend and i got this perfume and this whatever and that's not really what, you know, I, I care about. <laughs> and they were asking me, like, what did, what did Craig get you for Valentine's Day? And I said, um, no, nothing. He didn't get me anything. And what? I cannot believe that he did not get you anything. And I said, oh, well, technically, he did get me something because he brought me back a Kinder Egg from the shop when he went to buy milk. And so you guys might not know what a Kinder Egg is. Let me know if you don't, and I will explain it. It's a candy, but it's a bit, it's an exciting candy. And so it's a Kinder Surprise Egg is what it's called. And he brought me home this Kinder Surprise Egg. 
And the girls at my work were absolutely shocked and appalled <laughs> because my my boyfriend how dare he had only bought me a kinder egg for valentine's day and we had a good old giggle about it to be honest and then the next year a whole year passed and the next year <laughs> Um, Craig, oh, I think I woke up and I went to go and get a, a cup of tea or something and I found there was like a Kinder Egg in the pot that holds the tea bags <laughs> and I was laughing then and then I, I, I don't know, put my dressing gown, put my hand in my pocket and there was another one. Okay, so Aunt Petunia says, what is a Kinder Egg? I'm going to have to get Craig to bring me in one, maybe. <laughs> um, so a Kinder Egg is a candy. It is egg-shaped. It's about this size. And it, it is a shell of chocolate. So there is a milk chocolate shell. And on the inside, so it's like this, right? So on the outside, it's milk chocolate. And on the inside, like this, it's um, white chocolate so it's like nestled together like this so two layers one with white chocolate one with milk chocolate and on the inside of the egg there is a plastic capsule that you pop open and there's a little toy in there okay makes sense and yes so I had, I mean, it's very popular with the kids, as you can imagine, it's really fun. <laughs> so that he had bought me two on that second year. And I think it was simply the case that the, there was an offer <laughs> of like two for a pound or something. And so I jokingly said to him, Oh, right. So at last year I get one, this year I get two. So next year, does that mean I get three and four and so on? Um, are you going to like hide them around the house and I have to find them? Ha 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 ha. Well, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> so our Valentine's Day is actually um, Kinder Day in our house. When I wake up, I have to go and find the Kinder Eggs that are hidden around the house. And the, the number has increased every year that we've been together. So this year, we were on 17 eggs. Now we were lucky this year because um, <laughs> we were in Ireland. So we had a different canvas. <laughs> I like around our house there's only so many places where you can hide an egg plus the other thing is that now that we have um, like now we have Piper she she's six and she loves this tradition but she wants to hide them <laughs> and so Craig lets her hide some but she's like the worst hider because <laughs> We will be like in the kitchen and she'll be like, oh, mommy, oh, I think you should look in the fridge. Mm, I think I want a carrot. Can, can I have a carrot, mommy? And I'm like, okay, obviously there's one in there. <laughs> but it's really cute. And that's, I think, why Craig totally limits her to the number of, um, <laughs> the number of eggs that she can hide. So she doesn't know where all of them are. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a hunt. It would just be her dropping not-so-subtle hints all around the house. I'm looking for a colour. My are. So, yes, it was Kinder Egg Day for us. And we had a different house to uh, explore and hide things in which is really fun <laughs> and even though there's like 17 you think that would keep you going all day but it doesn't <laughs> yeah you uh, find them pretty quickly 
especially when you've got a little one encouraging you to look in certain places. <laughs> okay, let me check. I need to make sure I keep pressing the buttons up there. I think I'm going to have a little pink pram or stroller, whatever you want to call it. And my computer has just started a massive amount of fan noise. I hope it's not going to object to tonight's stream. So Debbie says she's working on a mini loaded envelope. What does, what's a loaded envelope? What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means. A loaded envelope. You'll need to uh, explain that one for me. Hi, Melanie. Hello from California. This is Melanie. Hello back at ya. It's coming up uh, just past half ten with us on this side of the water. Hmm. Colors, colors, colors. What should we go for? a bit of a variety of colors on this little guy. So this one's supposed to be like a mother hen. So I'll do her brown. You fill it with all kind of goodies. It's like a little bag. That's a loaded envelope. That's cool. Who's it for? Friend, family? I feel like this mother hen is gonna has got the raw the raw end of the deal being a bit on the boring side. Maybe I'll spruce her up with a little bit of orangey undertones on her belly. Maybe give her a few speckles. I'll wait for her to dry first of all. And for this guy, I'm going to do him green. Not sure if I've ever seen a green chick. Oh, I suppose him. Woodpeckers are green, right? Are they? I'm pretty sure woodpeckers are green. We're gonna go with that anyway. And maybe a sort of tealy color for this guy. Peeking out. He looks, he looks like he's a bit sick actually in there now. Maybe I'll darken him up. thing. He's green with envy because all the other chickies have popped out and he hasn't. One left. Uh, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple? I'm not sure purple is, purple is a very chicky color but anyway. Oh, this is more of a pink than a purple.
Okay, we're good. So let me get a card. And I'm going to do a top folding note card, I think, for this one. Hey, Simon. How are you? So let's add a little, I think I'm going to add some distress ink to the background and give it a few little splatteroonies. But I want to know what color to go in the background. Of course I've used all the colors. Oh, I haven't really used purple. I could use purple, right? In fact, I started using shaded lilac for a project the other day and realized that I never use shaded lilac, which I thought was just absolutely abominable. Shameful. I used to have a a craft mat that I covered with like a non-stick craft mat. So I used to have a cutting mat that I covered with a non-stick craft mat. I still have it, but I don't use it for videos because um, it's really hard to get true color on it, on the video. And when I had my craft mat, then I would just tap it on the side and then clean it up afterwards. But if I tap it on this, I forget that it's there and I end up smudging it everywhere. So I tend to keep a little book nearby to um, like tap off the ex excess. Oh, Melanie says it's her favorite distress color. Yeah, I do not use it enough at all. I'm gonna darken up the middle here. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. Because it's pretty. I've got lots of other things that um, in a similar color that I use. I think it just gets forgotten about. Per thing. Let's give this a spritz. to do this spritz into your hand and then give it a flick technique yeah the oxide is amazing Ooh, do I have that oxide no I don't think I do is it one of the new ones I only have the ones that came out last summer I don't have I don't have any of the new new ones yet I don't, the thing is, I don't actually use the oxides that much. I'm not as in love with them as I would like to be. I think I just absolutely love Distress Ink too much for me to love the oxides. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you don't want to hear that. But I'm going to splatter this with some watercolor. So I'll use the white from the Kuretake Ganzai Tambi. Give it a spritz of water to loosen that up while I go grab a paintbrush. It's where my finger gets completely covered. One time I did this on a live stream and I covered my monitor in front of me. <laughs> and of course you don't really notice it until um, you turn the monitor off and it all goes black. <laughs> and then Craig comes out and goes, 
what is on my monitor? All of a sudden, it's his monitor. <laughs> to be fair, he did. It is one of his. If it's, if it's like dirty or anything, it's like, clean your monitor. It was fine. I need watercolor paint. Washes right off. <laughs> not possible to love distress inks too much <laughs> not possible to love inks too much at all I like you Tony we can be friends <laughs> I need to get myself a new pot of water this one looks a little bit a little bit on the pink side should be enough to take the edge off that anyway We've got some watery splatters on there. Pop that up for a moment. And while that's drying, I'm going to go and find some black hard stock to do my sentiment. So, um, what about, hey Groovy Chick, heard you were expecting. I'm gonna do that. I wanna have two, two sentiments on it. So I'm gonna use my Misty, misty. On here. Now sometimes I've noticed that if I use, if I put a stamp right close to the edge, um, it doesn't get the same kind of pressure all the way around. So what I'm gonna do, sorry, this is black on black. Let me put a piece of white in there or something so you can actually see what's going on. Let me go grab it. Hmm. I don't know what I've done with my misty insert. I actually did clean my clean my craft room recently and well, it's been one of those, I have no idea where anything is anymore, situations. It's kind of still in limbo. It happens. Right, so I'm going to Boss, white embossing powder, white embossing, yeah, white emboss powder on black. So I'm going to put a hair groovy chick here. And hair you are expecting here. And do a two for one. So tell me guys, what is it that you are loving right now? Have you been playing with anything? Have you seen something that absolutely needs to go onto the list? With everything being a little bit manic with um, creativation, and having uh, the Frankfurt show and then being, being away last week. I feel completely out of the loop. Need 
need to get back on track. Okay, I'm just going to blow the excess off here, but I will mute my thing so I'm not blowing in the microphone. Gilding flakes, huh? Gilding flakes. You know, I have not yet jumped on that bandwagon. When I was in Frankfurt, I did stop by the Tonic Studios booth and um, I had a look at the gilding flakes. The thing that I don't really, it's such a silly little hang up to be fair. Um, the, the gilding flakes, I don't feel like the container is big enough. Like I feel like the container needs to be twice as big so that it doesn't like whenever you unscrew it go bleh, like that. Um, I know they've done really well in cramming it full and it makes you feel like you're getting a really good, you know, bargain. <laughs> But I think if I did get gilding flakes, the first thing I would do is give it into a bigger container or put it in a Tupperware or something. I'm going to mute you guys while I emboss this. Be right back. You'll become addicted when you do try them, just put them in another container, says Tony. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I would just have to do. Um, so they, they did show us um, that you can get a ink pad, which is like a glue. So what you can do is stamp something. It, it works really well if you have like a beautiful background that you could stamp the background and then you leave it for a little minute to get tacky. Ooh. And then you um, you put your gilded flakes over the top, give them a little tap down. And then, sorry, hold on. I'm trying to figure out which ones of these I want. Um, then you, um, you like brush it away with like a, it almost, you kind of need a little bit of a hard bristle brush, probably something like a shaving brush. And uh, yeah, and it gives this beautiful gilded background. So I'm using the Strips of Ease dies from Heffy Doodle because I have no success when it comes to using a trimmer to get straight edges. I'll get one straight edge and then the other one never works. So why struggle? Just be smart and use the die. 
well, I don't know, probably seven, seven or eight maybe. Um, and this tape is from Styx 2. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's a company in the UK, actually. Styx 2. Their tagline is Styx 2 anything. It's fun. Um, and it's really good. It's really strong. So I can just position this somewhat using my lines on my craft mat to get that at least mostly straight. And then I can trim off the edge. Hi, Nicole. Just tuning in from Peru. Oh, we're very global today. Let's get these little guys cut out using some of the coordinating dies. And the little, I definitely need the little, little buggy. Oh, I haven't put any magnetic doodah on here yet. Let me go grab one. Can't have them, those chickies flying around everywhere, can I? Such a cute sentiment for the card you're working on. Oh, thank you. Let's see what we've got. I haven't, I haven't actually used this stamp. I've used it once, this stamp set, which is awful. I need to um, definitely fix that. I'm so sorry, guys. I just dropped my light on my mouse. And the mouse is just going to have to sit over here for now. Chaos. Okay, let's stick some of these little guys down. So this guy here, or girl I guess, and this one, I don't know if you noticed, but the actual die cuts out around their going to say paws it's not a paw is it they're wings there we go and in the stamp set there is a little um like a little love heart which is so cute that you can pop pop the love heart between her wings and there's also this one here which is the nest and it has an internal cut line along where that like curvy line is. I'll show you in a second once I get this all cut out. center her properly but there she is ah, I wonder if it's because I changed my mat Remove. I was working on my magnetic mat and then I changed it last week and sometimes when you have all lots of dies on together it can move around a little so this is what I'm talking about here let me move it closer you can see there we go so you can tuck elements in like this can you see how cute is that you put the little chickies in there see 
Aren't they adorable? You can put her in there, which is what I might do actually, put her in there. She's expecting. <laughs> and then I like the little daddy. He's all like, ha ha ha. Oh, I keep doing that. He's like, I'm so proud. Proud as punch dada. I'm going to cut out the little stroller as well. I'll cut out these other guys while I'm here. Oh, you said that the Catherine Puller inks you can emboss with them. I didn't know that. Ooh, game changer. Yeah, they're quite juicy now that you think and now that I think about it. Interesting. I'm going to have to try that. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I like this little guy because you can put him like popping out of the pram <laughs> or the buggy or the stroller, depending on which part of the world you're from. And then this little guy is like, like peeking out like, hello, is it time to come out yet? Okay. The good thing about doing a whole load of these at once, whenever you don't actually have a clue what you're gonna make, <laughs> is that you end up with some leftover, which means that I can hopefully stretch them across two cards, perhaps. So I'm using DCP paper. Um, oh, here Tony says, can you put the eggs and mummy in the nest with mum in the front? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Put the egg, the egg's massive compared to her though. Something like that. Or maybe you could put the little egg in her paws, in her I'm so used to creating critters, which are like furry animals, that I keep calling them paws <laughs> instead of wings. Turn this one upside down. You'd never know that it was a broken one. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure I like that one in there. You can definitely tuck that in there anyway. Where does the other ones go to? I don't know. Let's stick this guy on here. If we want him, I 
It's almost like he's the one that's saying, Hey, groovy chick. Heard you were expecting, so I brought you a stroller. <laughs> I forget even put her there oh no I should have colored her the same color as that and then whenever I, I could have put her in the inside you know never mind mama in there and then add some foam to the back of her stick her down I wish I could find my squares. They're not as tedious to pull off whenever uh, compared to these guys. But anyway, must be somewhere in a mess of this craft room. And I'm going to add a little, I think I'm going to add a little love heart up here from that set. Maybe even a couple of little love hearts. want to dye ink though for a bit more of a solid coverage maybe this was a bit too yellow maybe wisteria Simon says stamp ink There's something on my ink pad, my stamp. And last one. It's cute, huh? I'm actually going to go over that one because it looks like it's. Oh, uh, maybe it's the watercolor. I thought something was on my stamp. I think it's a watercolor. There we go. Hey, groovy chick. Heard you were expecting. Awesome. Okay, so now I need to make another card with my leftovers. So, any suggestions? Fire away. I know there's always a couple of people watching that get inspired. And then they're frustrated because they don't have the stamps <laughs> So you can shout, shout, shout. What other sentiments do I have in the set that can be showcased as well? We've got the congrats and we've got the baby. 
Oh, the congratulations. I do quite like the from our nest to yours one. We can't get this guy. There we go. These guys are cute. Okay, I think what we're going to do is have um, a colored background with some white panels. I had an idea to use one of these dies, and I'm not sure whether it'll work out, but sure, I can always try, huh? I wanted to use this, but in a bit of a different way. I wanted to to cut it out into a panel so we have like a couple of panels it's kind of hard to explain so I'll just do it <laughs> otherwise who knows who knows so going to do a panel on the front with some of these so I could do one two three I'll do it this way one two three yeah I might do it this way let me grab another piece of card probably going to want to cut this down Um, so I'm going to be cutting this down after the fact, so um, I'm not worried about it being just perfect at the moment. But what I will do is figure out kind of like the edge of where I want to be. So let me grab some sort of a pencil or something. And I'll use that as a guide. Oops. I'll try to eyeball one that's kind of in the middle, first of all. And then I'll take it from there. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, let me run this through the machine. So this die itself actually is a f like a lift the flap kind of die. So it only cuts along three edges. Can you see? Like that. But I was thinking that I might... I just want to try and like stretch it. I like to stretch my stamps and stretch my supplies and find other ways of using them. So I was thinking of like cutting along the top edge with a craft knife. But I don't know, I might actually just leave them intact. We'll see. So this will be a card that showcases both the Clover Frames die set and the excellent news stamp set. Um, 
one of the design team girls made a card using this die. And what they did was they tucked, like up here, they tucked a $10 note. So they turned the card into a, like a gift card. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so awesome. It's pretty epic. I definitely need to do that at some point. Okay, now that I have, oh, I've not done that line. Now that I have this cut, um, I'm going to cut around the outside using a, some sort of a die. Uh, Heavy Doodle doesn't have a die like that, but I think Lawn Fawn might come to the rescue. Oh, Donna's here. Hey, Donna. Didn't get a notification, but I'm here now. Oh, bless. <laughs> Sometimes the notifications can be a bit hit and miss, I think. I know for me, I've been, um, I've been so busy that it's almost been like notification overload. I've kind of had to ignore my phone on the most part. I, it gets to the point where I'm like, ah, oh, stupid phone. I think when things calm down, it'll all be more fun again. <laughs> So this um, creates um, a flap here, but I think to get a better like fold on it, if I want to do a fold that is, then um, like you can crease it with a bone folder or something. But I don't know, maybe I want to do the, take a craft knife to it, oh go on. Follow your heart, follow your inspiration. How cute is that little guy? Okay, that's the first one. That's the second one. And the third one. So, I could have it like this with like a strip along the bottom or something. But I kind of like it this way. Oh well, technically it would be this way. So I either do these, that was one. I could pop them in on the background like this to get that texture back. And I could either keep them white and then add color to this, or I could color these in different colors and then keep this white. Mm. So many decisions. Let me see what else I can come up with. <laughs> oh, 
I kind of like that. I could do different colors in the background, couldn't I? And then maybe do the congrats over here. Will it fit? I think it will. Oh yeah, congrats. Or even do baby has arrived, baby has arrived. Hmm, who knows? I think I'm gonna color these little guys in. And I'm going to, I'm gonna grab my Catherine Poolers, I think. Shocking. They might not be the right colors. But we shall see. So we could do like a purple for the top one. And then an orange and a teal, no. Purple, yellow, and teal. And that's what I'm going for. Aunt Gabby says, I'm confused. It's not Friday. Correct, my love. It is not Friday. Surprise. I am I'm working, technically, I guess is the correct term. I have I have to make some projects for create and craft and I figured rather than just sitting on my own and doing them I would have the lovely pleasure of your guys companies so thank you for joining in So I'm going to try and build up a little bit of color. I don't want it all to be teal. I just want it to have a bit of like an ombre effect, I guess, which is really hard to do whenever it's so tiny down here. I like the idea of the different background colors and then the white surrounding it. Yeah, let's do that. super hard to do like to hold on to it <laughs> cute though okay that's you done Lalo So on our travels last week, we went to the cinema to go and see the movie, The Greatest Showman. Well, technically we went to go see a kid's movie, which we did do. And um, we, then afterwards, I really, really wanted, what does that say? I will get married, you're invited. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Piper obviously has left me some sort of a letter about her getting married. Yes, so we went to go see Coco, which is a kid's movie with Piper, etc. But then afterwards I was like, I really want to go see The Greatest Show. Uh, the Greatest Showman, pardon me. So I went to go see it. And today I have been binge listening to the songs and oh my gosh I just love every single one of them like it's just ridiculous I think it may even be my new like utmost tippity top top favorite movie of all time just saying a lot because I've only seen it once and normally to get that kind of status 
there needs to be at least a couple of, uh, of watchings, a couple of viewings. But I love it so much. Okay, we're doing good. This is going to go on here, white on white. Uh, what colors did I do? Poiple up top, Lello in the middle, and then this on the bottom. I'm going to spritz these guys with some water. Should have done that when I had my mat over. Is that with you, Jackman? Yes, it is. Whom I love now. I always loved him. Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. But, oh uh, yeah. I'm a big fan. Jimmy Lan is here as well. Hey. Okay, we're doing good, good, good. Right, I need to get my misty sorted so that I can stamp this. So this will go here. This will go here, here. This panel will be raised up, but before I do that, I want to stamp it. So I either have baby has arrived or congrats. Two minute tidy, or not even two minutes, 20 second tidy. <laughs> to, to call it work <laughs> when it's crafting. Be able to do for crafting wise. Oh, Tony says, if we're going to talk movies, go see Black Panther. I did. I've seen it twice, says Tony. So we went. <laughs> oh, no. No. Hold on. Are you guys there? Okay. Let me try something. Um... I have no idea if you guys are still there or not. Are you there? Uh oh. Is Craig watching? Craig? Okay, you're still there. Sorry. This new setup that we have, the. Um, I feel like my lighting's a bit off now. The camera times out. You still there? Okay, good. Back up to what I was saying. <laughs> um, my mum and dad have bought a new camper van. So part of the big experience was going over there and going away for a night in the camper van. And we kind of just went somewhere for the sake of going somewhere, if you know what I mean, to experience their new, their new, um, motor as they would call it and the the place that we went was right beside a cinema and when i grew up we always went to oh i meant to do the rest sorry we always had holidays in a camper van and congratulations Baby has arrived. A sweet baby has arrived. A sweet baby, bear with me. Oh, 
straight does not want to go on straight. Has arrived. I'm not sure if that leaves a lot of room. For this guy, we'll figure it out. Um, so the the parking lot, I guess, would you call it that, was like behind a mini mall. That's not what we would call it in Ireland, but anyway. <laughs> and the oh, there was a cinema, essentially. And when I grew up, we always had Memento. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to have to use my old one. Um, when I grew up, we always went in the motorhome and we always played cards. It's nothing more exciting than like Snap or some other like quite boring versions of cards. But they was quite fun and very nostalgic. And so we played cards. Some of the kids were there and they were playing. Piper loved learning all the new card games. It wasn't gambling or anything like that. It's not that exciting. Anyway, not much else to do in the camper. <laughs> so Craig was like, hmm. We could go to the cinema because we're we're night owls, as you can tell, because it is now twenty three thirty nine, and um, yeah, so like I th we could go to the cinema. And it started off as a joke, and then my mum was like, "Well, if you want to, you can." And we're like, "Okay." So last week we went to go see Coco. <laughs> we went to see. Well, I went to see Craig. Didn't sucker. Went to see The Greatest Showman. And, um, and then we went to go see Black Panther, which I have to say was really very good. Now, I will also say, and don't hate me for it, that um, I don't know like anything about Black Panther. And I think I wasn't as emotionally involved or attached to like the characters like I didn't really know them does that make sense like I don't know isn't it funny how this looks completely different to that maybe it'll like this looks much darker I know this has been spritzed but it almost looks like just a deeper color I am still trying to get through this um, big roll of Chinese tape that was an eBay purchase, but I'm determined to get through it. If you're new here, then you may not know the story behind it. It was bought on um, eBay because I was trying to, I couldn't find the, the like the scotch one or anything. So I just was like, oh, I'll see what it's like. And I went through a phase of absolutely hating it because um, like you can't cut it with scissors. It's, it just, it's too sticky that like it's sticking to my finger here. Um, and actually, I still don't really like it, but um, I found another tape that I like much better. Um, but I found a way to cut it without gumming up my scissors, as demonstrated here. So I use a, this here is, uh, what's it called? Wax, wax paper? It's what you get on the back of a sticker. So this was used 
this actually was what the the stickers for my my misty came on so it's really glossy on this side and then it's just like normal on that side but you can use what i have used is like old sticker paper from thickers or um you know well you might not know but when you when you get like for packing materials you get those clear plastic pouches that you can put like the customs envelope in and blah blah they that's like an a6 size of of a sticker so i use the back of one of them most of the time but this um where my misty misty stickers came on is actually really sturdy so i think this one will last me much longer however my blade on my knife is not exactly the sharpest not exactly the sharpest tool in the box if you know what i mean wink wink just a little something to hold it up probably won't need very much to be honest Piper will probably be growing up before the tape runs out. <laughs> I'm getting there. It was big. It was like this big. It was massive. Maybe I should just give it to her. That's a girl who knows how to use things up. Mummy, can I use some of your tape or your washi tape or a pen? You are never going to see that back. You, you might see you might see it you'll see it everywhere <laughs> but that's a good trait for many years i would do like scrapbooking blah, blah blah and i would literally like hoard the paper and be like oh i love this paper so much i'm not going to use it because then it'll be gone how can i just drool over it then So silly. Okay, my head might need to be in the way here a little bit while I move forward. It's super sticky, so if I get this wrong, it's not going to move afterwards. I think that's about right. I've definitely lost, lost some light around right here. Maybe it was because I moved this. I don't know. How's it looking? I think he's going to go in there, or she, I can't tell what it is. And then this one was down here, I think. Was that right? No, they were up here, were they? I think that one was in the middle. What I loved about the Black Panther was not a single woman needed saving by a man. <gasps> Good point. In fact, they were equal partners. That's awesome. Yeah, those ladies were badass. Totally. I like the way like his colour ties into the background now. Wasn't planned, but we'll pretend it was. <laughs> Add this cute little trio to the top here. It looks like this guy's looking down at this this one. <laughs> And I don't think I'm going to stick these on with foam because there's already some dimension here. Maybe I can overhang them along the edge a little bit. A little risky, but we'll make it work. I'm going to use a 
different adhesive though so that it doesn't get tempted to migrate. There we go. Congrats, a sweet baby has arrived. So we have this card and, oops, this one from earlier as well. Two cute cards using the Excellent news stamps and dies from Heffy Doodle. Okay, I'm going to call that a night because it is nearly midnight. And I will hopefully come and do another stream tomorrow night. So I'll give you guys a little bit more warning because I do need to make a couple more cards focusing on maybe another mouse one and certainly some more with the the watch is saying stamps and dies because um, I don't really have an awful lot showcasing them at the moment and they're absolutely fantastic they're really popular as well so I will need to make some cards using that so keep an eye out tomorrow it's usually about 9 p.m. my time in, in GMT normally 9 p.m. my time by the time I get online but it could be any time before or after by the time I get Piper off to bed, etc. So if you're free, I'd love to have you. Yeah. There we go. Thanks, you guys. And um, I will hopefully see you tomorrow for some more crafting. Bye. I just realized I don't know how to turn this off because it's a new setup. Whoops. Let's see if I can figure this out.